up you guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel happy monday today's monday when i'm filming this so i hope you all have a great start to your week and rest of your week today i'm going to be doing a little get ready with me slash just like everyday makeup routine because i've gotten so many questions on just the makeup that i do every single day that i do wear makeup i don't wear makeup every single day but when i do wear makeup i'm going to show you exactly what i do with my face just some of my skin descriptions i guess i have very oily skin definitely a lot of breakouts right now so so all of the products that I'm using have really been working for me specifically. I'm just gonna do a little talk through makeup routine. Simple, very, very simple makeup routine. So yeah, if you have not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and like and comment on this video to help my channel grow and I'll really appreciate it. Also, I know this is a different background. I'm actually at my boyfriend's apartment right now because we're moving him back to San Diego. So very exciting. First of all, because I know I'm gonna get so many questions, I'm gonna tell you where my gold jewelry is from because since it's like gonna be in the frame and everything, I know I'm gonna get questions already so I'm just gonna tell you which brings me to today's video sponsor, which is Orate If you have been watching me for a while or following me on Instagram or any of that You know that I absolutely love Orate as a jewelry brand I get almost all my jewelry from Orate and I'm never disappointed So the pieces that I have on right now this beautiful bracelet and these two gold rings are my everyday staple pieces I cannot live without them Orate's gold is definitely very substantial It's always sparkling and it is just such good quality and because it is real gold you can wear it without ever having to take it off. I literally wear mine in the shower, when I go in the pool, when I go to the beach, I sleep in it, I work out in it, I wash dishes in it, I never take these pieces off and there has been zero issues with that. Ori actually gives back and supports various causes ranging from the environment to social causes which empower women, youth, and etc. Like I said before, I've been wearing Ori for over a year now and I am nothing but impressed every single time I receive a new piece from them. So for 15% off your first Ori purchase, go to oratenewyork.com slash lauren and use promo code lauren that's a-u-r-a-t-e new york dot com and use promo code lauren l-a-u-r-y-n now for the makeup i have everything in this handy dandy little bag this makeup bag is from target i did use it as like a pencil case before but now it's upgraded to my makeup bag and it's the perfect bag ever excuse me while i have to literally lay everything out because i need to be organized um that's just me don't think so. All right, first off, I'm starting off with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I love this stuff. I do have oily skin, like I said before, so this stuff really helps conceal my oil. Sorry, I'm using an iPad as a mirror right now because I don't have a mirror with me. So if I'm looking over here, that's why I'm looking at the iPad camera. So bear with me if this turns out horrid. But yeah, it is this like pink color. I just take a little bit on my middle finger. I put it in the areas that my pores tend to show the most. So like the middle of my forehead, right here on my cheek, around my nose, and on my nose. This stuff really is just so good, and it feels so good when you put it on. Um, it's like a cooling, like little balm. So nice. After primer, this is the foundation or foundation I use. I never use like a really, really heavy foundation. It's the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Oil Free Matte Poreless Finish CC Cream. It's a lot. It's a mouthful. This also does have SPF 40 in it, and it's anti-aging, hydrating, full coverage cream, poreless finish. And this is in the shade medium tan. I am getting a little bit darker since it is summer and I've been outside in the sun a lot more So I'm going to probably need a darker shade soon. Hopefully not too soon. I just pump a little bit on my hand And then I take my ring finger. This is not my ring finger I take my middle finger and I just put it on the bottom half of my face first I tend to do my face in like sections because I find when I do it all at once it kind of um, starts drying in certain places this is the sponge that I use the real techniques um, little blender sponge and I just blend it in I have gone through countless foundations CC creams concealers tinted moisturizers so many things and I used this a long time ago and then I stopped using it because I wanted to start trying different things why that is honestly the worst decision ever is to try different things when you already like something like why am I wasting a bunch of money on it I don't know but I do anyways and then I always circle back to this one because it is just so good and it feels so weightless and it's definitely buildable also which is nice so I love that about it. It is also very hot here right now. So if I start sweating, that is why. Doing makeup when you're hot is just the worst circumstance ever to do makeup in. But sometimes you have no choice, like me right now. <laughs> Okay, 
okay once i think it's all blended in we're kind of good like i said it's kind of hard for me to see right now because i'm using an ipad um but yeah i'll just go on to like the super dark spots that i have mainly mainly like around here and just dot on a little more with my finger so that it actually like soaks in you know all right and that is all for foundation next i'm gonna go in with powder since i am an oily gal did i blend my forehead why does it look splotchy Anyways, since so I'm an oily gal, I use a lot of powder. This is the one that I use. It's the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana. This stuff is so good. Revolution has such a good line of products because they're so cheap and you get them at like Ulta and they're just very affordable and such good products. So this is the setting powder I use and it is grand. It's like $5 for this thing and this stuff works so well. So I just use the flat side of the same little beauty blender and I'll definitely powder under my eyes because that's where I get the most oily and then I'll I'll literally powder my whole face as well so i guess we'll go through some life updates shall we i'm starting an online class today because i'm taking one elective i look crazy right now elective online class at a community college um because i need more credits and stuff and i don't want to be super super bombarded with classes for my senior year so i'm trying to take one during the summer um it's like a digital media digital arts class or something so we use like photoshop and um, adobe illustrator and stuff like that so i'm really excited about it because i haven't taken like a digital arts class before and it's fully online so yeah i have to start that today hopefully there's not a lot of assignments this week because this is a very busy week for me but yeah so that's an update so it's something else to keep me busy during the summer even though i don't need to be busier than i already am yeah so we have that going on i think i'm all powdered up Okay, one thing I do know is that this sweater needs to get taken off because I am way too hot right now. Okay, shall we continue? Okay, after powder, I go in with bronzer and this is the bronzer I use. It's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I think that's the only name to it, I don't know. But I will take this Real Techniques Buffing Blush, Buffing Brush, pat it and literally just put it you know where bronzer goes i'm not a makeup guru this is not a makeup channel i'm just you know giving the people what they want to see and what they want to see is a makeup video so here i am i think when i first started youtube i would make makeup videos literally not knowing at all what i was doing but i would do it anyways so this is just full circle for me but yeah i'll put it in this area right here like the little three technique and then also for the sides of my nose and that's all for bronzer after bronzer i go in with highlighter this is the one i use also physicians formula rose all day highlighter this stuff is so pretty it's in the shade freshly picked and it literally looks like a rose it is just the prettiest highlighter ever i use a eyeshadow brush for this actually this is the morphe m504 brush I just dab a little on put it on my cheekbones and then on the tip of my nose and that's all for highlight i don't like to look like a shiny mess so i just put a little bit where it seems to glow the most if that makes sense next in line i do my eyebrows i don't do that much with my eyebrows because they're already pretty full so i just like kind of outline them and kind of shape them a little more this is the nyx fill and fluff brow pencil in taupe it has the tip that looks like this which i really like which is just like the anastasia one or anastasia one um and then it has the little brush that looks like this um which i really like so this is a super good dupe for that one because i used to use that one and it just got way too expensive so i found this one and i was like this literally works the exact same so i don't know why i haven't been using this one so i'll just brush out my eyebrows go in with the pencil and just fill in the edges i'm gonna use my phone for this part because it's a little bit closer Watching as it falls When growing up we used to have it all Yeah, my eyebrows literally take two minutes max because I really don't do that much to them But that's what they look like once they are done I should take this hair out from behind my ear because it's making the lighting better Okay, now this is an optional step I sometimes do this, I don't do this every single time But I think I'm gonna do it today because I just like how eyeliner has been looking recently and I've been doing it recently a lot. So this is the one that I use. It's the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. Um, this stuff is so good also. I noticed that I use almost 100% drugstore products, which is good because I 
can't just get myself to spend a lot of money on high-end makeup products because they just I get sick of them so fast That's my problem and then I end up spending way too much money on things I don't end up returning the things I don't like and it's just a really bad process So drugstore products are where it's at you guys These are the best products I have found recently So I hope you get some good recommendations from this video also, but yeah eyeliner time I really need a camera for this so I might zoom you in on here and film it on here but yeah I have definitely kind of mastered the winged eyeliner just because I've been doing it for literally so long I'll try to show you a little tutorial I guess let's just bring you in close and personal wow we are very close and this makes my eyebrows look horrible you're not supposed to look that close at them that's why I will just line oh this is not okay all right I'm gonna do this off camera probably go to the mirror really quickly and do my eyeliner and I'll be right back. I'm back, I just went in the mirror and did it, but this is what it looks like. I just do a tiny little wing. So I'll give you a little word tutorial on how I did it. So I basically line the line first with the very, very, very thin line because I have very small eyelids. So if I do anything really thick, it makes my eyes look black. So I do a very thin line and then I just bring it out like this, take the brush, do another line and then connect it and then like fill in the little area. That was a horrible explanation. But that's what's always worked for me. Also, this is a key step. Taking a Q-tip and wiping off all the foundation that got on your lips while you were doing your foundation because it makes your lips look white and washed out. So, pro tip. Okay, I'm very hot right now. Once I do my eyeliner, I go in with mascara and this is almost the last step. So, the two that I use are the Voluminous Lash Paradise Base and Voluminous Lash Paradise mascara so i've been using a base or like a primer for a while now and i've honestly noticed such a huge difference in what my lashes look like after i use it so highly recommend if you haven't tried also this mascara is so good i know mascaras are very touchy to a lot of people because some mascaras work amazing for some people's lashes and then don't work at all for other people's i've definitely been there being like oh my gosh i need to try that one that one looks so good on her lashes and then i try it and it literally makes me look like i have no lashes so it's always different so yeah i'm gonna Prime my lashes first and then let it sit for a little bit and then put on the mascara. Alright, and once the primer's on, I look like a crazy person because my lashes are white. So I let that dry for probably like two minutes just to make it like tacky. And then I go in with mascara. So I'll see you in like two minutes. All right, time for mascara. I do need a new one because this one's getting pretty clumpy and pretty empty, but I'm gonna use what's left of it, I guess. And this is honestly the most satisfying part of my makeup because this is where I noticed the biggest difference is when I put on mascara because then I finally have eyelashes. It's such a good feeling and this is also really hard to do with no mirror. So if you would excuse me for a second. Also this case from Case to Five, because I know you're probably wondering, I would be too, it's the cutest case ever. Make this long night last. Okay, mascara's done. Last step I do is setting spray. I cannot go without setting spray. This stuff helps my oil control so much. This is my holy grail. I will never stop talking about this setting spray. It is so cheap. It is Bride the Baron Hard Candy, which no one probably uses ever. They only sell it at like Walmart here, so I hardly ever am able to get it. But this is the Sheer Envy Matte Setting Spray. This stuff is amazing. I like it better than any high-end um, setting spray I've ever tried. Better than all the expensive ones. This stuff is like $5 or $4. So yeah, I'll never stop talking about this. I order from Walmart online because I never go actually in store. You can too if you want to try it out. I really recommend. And then I just let this dry. This is the part that feels so good. You also just turn on the AC, so I am living right now. Okay, and that is all for my everyday little makeup look. I will add on some chapstick also, but then that's all I do. And it is so simple, and it barely looks like I put anything on, but I can tell the difference. That's all that matters. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will have all the products linked below. If you're interested in trying out any of these products also, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to Orate for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you go to oratenewyork.com slash lauren and use promo code lauren for 15% off your first purchase. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. See you next time. Bye guys!